So this first shoe, I imagine being in the wardrobe of every 30 something out there. A shoe like this, an easy go-to, a dumb reach for when you're just running errands on the weekend, but you still want to look good. So what shoe am I talking about? I'm talking about a pair of sneakers in a clean, versatile brown leather. Now throughout your 20s, you had a pair of go-to whites, but as life got busy and you got tired of cleaning them, you decided to go with a color that was a bit more forgiving. That being said, you wanted a shoe that was comfortable, something that you could literally run around in and not feel like it's weighing you down and that you can depend on for solid traction. Whether you're 23, 33, 43, or even 63, the fact is, gents, it doesn't matter what your age is. There are tons of styles out there, and if you know what to look for, you can find a style that suits you, that makes you look great. So how to find the right style shoot for your age? Well, gentlemen, that's the subject of today's video. Now, this next style of footwear you didn't see coming is the classic riding boot known as the Jodaber. And the man I see wearing this, he's 26 years old and he is stepping out on his own and ready to take on the world. And why not do that with a classic riding boot that screams for attention? Now, as you can see here, I've put some miles on my Jodaber boots. And for the most part, I love them. But because of this buckle here, they don't slip on and off. And they're not as easy to travel with as, let's say, a pair of Chelsea's. That being said, for our 27-year-old, he appreciates this style. He doesn't really care that it takes an extra couple seconds to take them off at the end of the day. No, what he's loving is they help his 5'9 frame stand like he's closer to 6 feet. And there's just something about the look, the confidence these boots give whenever he wears them. Now, earlier in this video, you might have inferred that I don't think guys over the age of 30 should wear white sneakers. That is not true. I'm just saying white sneakers take a little bit more maintenance, but the right pair with the right style can look good on any man at any age, a 63 year old. Wearing these sneakers right here, I think can look great. In fact, notice the design details. We've got the extra venting right there on the toes. And on the inside, we got a supple leather lining that keeps you comfortable and absorbs the sweat. Now, what about the traditional dress shoes? A lot of younger guys think that they can't pull this off. Guys, classic styles like this have no age restrictions. In fact, technically no shoe does. My point being though, any man, age 52, age 22 can pull these off in the right situation. A pair of shoes like this with a classic closed lacing system like you see here. Well, this shoe is meant to be dressed up, worn with a suit or maybe dressed down with a pair of khakis or a button down shirt. Now, does black and shiny always mean formal? No, take a look at these boots right here. Clearly, these are going to be casual. And just in case it wasn't clear, these are the details that make this shoe casual. So first up, the rugged traction, the thickness, the heaviness of the soles. Next up, notice how the quarter is laying over the van. This right here with the back of the shoe, the quarter is on top of the front of the shoe. The vamp is a classic open lacing system. And last but not least, it's a boot. In general, boots are going to be more casual than dress shoes. And by the way, the guy I imagine wearing this, he's 31, he's an engineer, he's living in Chicago. These are the boots that he wears to work. He can wear them at the job site, but he also shines them up and wears them on the weekends. Now, gents, all the shoes, all the boots that you're seeing in today's video can be found over at Thursday Boots. As you can tell, Thursday Boots is a lot more than just boots. In fact, I think people are really surprised when they get over the Thursday Boots and they realize, man, these guys have one of the best shoe collections you're going to find anywhere. Now, the shoes I am really loving because of their functionality, their clean, sleek design, and the beautiful leathers. That is their new Court series. If you couldn't tell earlier when I started the video, I absolutely love their dark brown leathers. They've got quite a few options over there. You can go with the lighter browns. I always recommend when you're choosing a color, look at what you have historically worn. I know I gravitate towards brown shoes. So just change up the style. Bring in a pair like this. You are going to love them. You're going to find a way to easily rotate these into your wardrobe. But of course, what Thursday is known for are their boots. In particular, their laced boots. Check out their captain and their president collection. These are the styles that started it all. And I think still today, these are their best sellers. And for good reason. A pair of boots like this are so easy to mix and match with everything in your wardrobe. And last but not least, let's talk about that fair price. Thursday Boots is always about making sure you get the best deal. Gents, prices have been going up on everything, but Thursday Boots has done a great job of keeping their prices affordable and seriously, a great deal for the quality you get. So gents, if you're ready to step up your footwear, if you're ready to build your style foundation, your wardrobe, when it comes to shoes, gents, get over to Thursday Boots and use the link in the description of today's video to make sure you get the best deal on the web. Next up, let's talk about loafers. If you are 51 or 41, you can pull these off. But the age, I think that loafers look really good on a young man. You're 22, you're 24, you are out there just starting your career and you want to be able to step up your business casual. Guys, look to a pair of classic 
penny loafers. Also known as Weegians, this style has been around for over a hundred years. And funny enough, it was made popular in the United States starting in the 1930s, 1940s by young men just like you. But at some point, those young men grew up and that style aged with them. But here's the deal. They look good with tons of outfits and a nice pair of penny loafers are versatile, are timeless. And if you're in your 20s, they're going to have you standing out from the crowd. Then what loafer do I recommend for a 38 year old or a 52 year old? Well, gents look no further than the double monk strap. And yes, I know that this was in fashion a decade ago. I'd like to think I had a little bit of an impact. I remember when these first came out, the double monk is interesting because the single monk strap has been around for centuries, but the double monk, when it appeared, what I loved about it, it was a little bit less flashy. The straps are usually a little bit smaller. And because the tension on the foot was distributed, I prefer these over the single strap because I think they're more comfortable. And that's why I'm going to recommend them to a guy in his fifties or even sixties, because these are comfortable they're loafers. You can dress them up. And if you choose to go with a color other than black, you could even wear these with jeans. But yeah, don't sleep on the double monk. Now, this next boot is a style I don't talk about a whole lot. I do think it gets overlooked by the chaka, which by the way, I will talk about a little bit later in this video. But no, I want to give the ankle boot it's due because this boot right here, if you're 38, maybe 42, this is that boot that helps you make the transition to boots. You've been a dress shoe guy. You've just been a sneaker guy. The thing we, you didn't even like high tops. You're just not about or don't think you need that ankle support. You're like, okay, what's the big thing about boots? These seem to be a halfway point and I would highly recommend if you've never tried on a pair of ankle boots to give them a shot, especially if for some reason you don't like the feel of a higher shafted boot. When you go with a five eyelet boot, what's really nice about this, it feels just like a pair of shoes, yet the style, the look, even the modest heel give you all the benefits of a good pair of boots. I also like ankle boots because depending on the material, depending on the shine, because of their more delicate features, you could actually wear these with a casual suit. Although I think they're most at home with more casual clothing, like maybe gray flannel trousers or denim. Now what about chuckas, AKA the desert boot? I feel that this is a style, especially in a suede like this for a man in his early thirties, maybe late twenties. I mean, of course, any age can wear anything, but for me, this is going to be a younger man's type of style. And maybe part of it's the really simple lacing system. It does make these boots ultra casual, but that in a way is why so many guys love them, why so many guys are endeared to this particular style. Now, speaking of shoes, let's talk about these full brogue wingtips. 36, 46, 56. Definitely at that age, you can pull this off. Do I think a 26 year old could pull this off? You need to have a little bit of gravitas behind you. Shoes like this, command attention. They're going to get compliments. Without saying you've got style, you are going to say you have style when you're wearing these. Now, if you know the history on brogues, you know that these came out of supposedly the Scottish marshes, I believe. The idea was that wearing shoes with holes in them would allow the water to seep out after you're making your way through a bog or a really wet area. Nowadays, this decorative carving in the leather, the broguing comes in a variety of different styles. But what you see here or what is known is a full brogue wingtip. Now, if you like that look, but you want to take it to a whole other level, check out these dress boots in full wingtip. Now, as mentioned earlier, all things being equal, boots are going to be more casual than a pair of dress shoes. However, because of the extra support around the ankle and the overall build we normally see in boots, I do think that they're more comfortable. And a pair of boots like this, yeah, you can wear with odd trousers, you can wear with dark denim. Heck, I'd even wear these with a casual suit. Now, do I think a 21-year-old could wear these? Yeah, but I feel they're going to be much more at home on a man that has a little bit more history, maybe has a little bit more of the confidence of life behind him. Yeah, I'm thinking for a 41 or 51-year-old. Now, what about moccasin style loafers? Or for that matter, moccasin style boots? Well, both of these for me signal youth, although this one I feel is a bit younger. What, 27? I mean, if you're 17, you could pull these off. But I, yeah, I'm going to go with 27. Right over here on the boots, on the other hand, I'm thinking 37, 47. It really depends on your gait and how you move. I know a lot of working men that choose to go with a moccasin style work boot because it has a larger, more open style toe box and is therefore more comfortable when they're standing on their feet. But getting back to the moccasin loafer, for, for me, this is for a guy in his late 20s. I mean, if you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. I know you're 47 and you're 57, you can definitely probably pull this off, especially if you've got a boat. That's why these are also known in many circles as boat shoes. And yeah, the moccasin style boot, definitely ultra casual. I feel it still gives a younger vibe, but yeah, you could be 37, 47 and still pull this off. Now, I teased you at the beginning of this video with a pair of ropers. And yes, Thursday boots carries all types of Western boots, but getting back to the roper, I think any man at any age can pull off a pair of ropers if you are 14, if you are 84. Ropers are casual, they're comfortable. They are the go-to work boot for so many guys out there. There and I can see why because yeah, they're incredibly versatile. I mean, heck, get me a pair of these in crocodile or ostrich. You could probably even wear these with a suit. And gents, if you enjoyed this video, but you want more, you're like, internal, get deeper into boots, especially the right boots for your age. Guys, I've got an entire video that breaks it out right here, finding the right boot for your age. I go into a lot more detail when it comes to boots. So if you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Boom, right here.